First at 5.30, an eyewitness news exclusive. A North Smithfield travel agent is arrested and charged with taking customers' money but never booking their trips. And now those customers are calling 12 for action. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now live from the mobile newsroom with a story you'll see only on 12. Well, you know how excited you are right before your big vacation. Now imagine how outraged you would be if you found out your travel agent never booked your trip. Well, unfortunately, it did happen to a number of Rhode Islanders, and now authorities think there may be even more. Scott and Amy Hingley of Pasco can't believe it. I don't understand how this could happen. Holly Orlando of North Smithfield can't believe it either. I'm in North Smithfield. And I should be in Florida with my daughter. All three of them are supposed to be on their vacations right now, but instead they're chasing down their travel agent who they say took their money but never booked their trips. We paid for a trip and we went to get our tickets and no, there was no tickets. She called on Wednesday and I was expecting an itinerary over the phone. And um, instead, she told me that the vacation was canceled. They've all been trying to reach the owner of Traveling Time, Barbara Laverne. But her store is now closed and she's not returning calls. That's why they called 12 for action. They always say, call Susan Hogan for action and see if she can do anything. And why should other people have to suffer like I just had to go through? We paid a visit to Laverne's home in Burville, but no one answered the door. This travel agent may not be responding to her customers, but she will have to speak to someone. That's because it's now in the hands of authorities. The attorney general's office now has her case, and they've charged her with two felony counts. While authorities investigate these latest complaints, Barbara Laverne has already been arrested and charged in two other cases. She was charged with obtaining money under false pretenses, totaling close to $10,000. What we are looking for is to make those people whole. You can't run with their money and uh, if, if you do we and the police are going to come find you and we have. Lynch tells us there are nine complaints in all and he expects even more. Perhaps tonight as often happens when we're sitting together other folks watching this will, will say goodness um, I better be concerned and by the way they should be. Now, if you have booked a trip through this particular company, you're being asked to contact the Attorney General's office to file a formal complaint. In the meantime, Laverne is due in court next week. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.